I guess the security officer normally sits here. Good thing they're not around. Yeah, I'm not going back out there till that robot is gone. Huh. They probably spent more on this fountain than they do on their classrooms. Aw, oh, man. There's totally a bag of chips there about to fall. It's one of the saddest things you can find on a college campus. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mermaid Sushi here, back with only the most killer tips, tutorials, and tricks for game dev. Just got a quick lesson today about how to activate the perspective viewpoint in the very real game editor today. Just a quick one, but first, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for updates. Okay, now, before we get into it, I just want to say I couldn't have done this tutorial without the help of my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 What up, dog? Check out his channel for more awesome game dev tips. Wonderful person, that Squeezy. Also, I just wanted to say, Ladrachio the Slayer, you're like super uncivil and don't know my mom at all, so stop saying those things. Okay, so now, let's get into this. So if you really want to activate the perspective camera in very real, I found this really hot trick. First, you just gotta make sure your computer is plugged into an outlet. Use a grounded outlet. Never ever saw off the grounding pin and use a two-prong. Trust me, okay? So you gotta use a grounded outlet. Even if you have a laptop with only a two-prong plug, always use a three-prong outlet. It's just safer, you know? It's just good advice. Okay, the next step to activating the perspective mode in Very Real Game Editor is to turn on your computer. There's usually a little button on the side. It has a little snake eyeball icon over it because, I don't know, Illuminati much, PC users? <laughs> anyway, once your computer is turned on, you gotta wait for it to... Anyway, so the next step to activating the Very Real Perspective Viewpoint is to load up the Very Real Editor. This is done by finding the icon that looks like this. Okay, so now that we have the editor loaded, we need to find one button. It looks like this. All you have to do is click that button. Boom! Perspective view. Yeah! So yeah, thanks again to my boy Squeezy Cheese 96 yo boy, for showing me this. And I hope you all learn a thing or two. Be sure to do me a fave and smash the like and subscribe buttons and join me again next week for more awesome game dev tips and tricks. Definitely not that room. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. Is this a lamp or a student art project or both? We're back again. JT and Rebel Breeze here. You're listening to the Dice Bag. You know, I eat cold pizza for breakfast sometimes. But not this pizza. I think this is a water fountain? I'm not sure, actually. Hey, kids! My name is Triangle. I'm a basic building block of 3D modeling. I'm a flat surface made by connecting three vertices in space. Oh, <laughs> we call them verts for short. Oh, what's this? It's my friend, Engon. Why so glum, Engon? I'm sad because no one wants me around. That's true. You introduce shading errors and add imprecision to modeling. No one really does want you around. What? That's not how you cheer up a friend. Don't worry. The GPU will automatically carve you up into little triangles anyway. Ah, it burns! It burns! Ah! Now you're just like me. Remember, kids, sooner or later, everything turns into triangles. Hooray! Definitely not that room. It's that administrator again. She looks scarier in a cap and gown. Do you think they still use books here? Or do they use PDF printouts stapled together? love little nooks like these. I would have curled up here with a good comic. I'm pretty sure this plant isn't real. A 
apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know if someone new will see your work. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. Maybe not that room. When analyzed with a proper academic eye, we see that this game is about so much more than just paddles and balls. Such a game is, in truth, a commentary on the environment in which it was made, a scathing critique of the oppressive nature of the Cold War, and a lament about government distrust. Is the human condition one in which we are perpetually juggling both offensive and defensive positions? Is the failure of our capitalistic framework resulting in a disaffected youth? Or is it vice versa? These are the questions directly asked by this game, and by all games. But what about Strategic Interstellar Genocide 3? That's my favorite game. Does that have a deeper meaning? That shit will rot your brain. Uh, maybe not that room. This is how you properly stack any building material. Offset them, see? Doesn't matter if you're using bricks, cinder blocks, Legos, or soup cans. Always offset. Learning proper construction techniques will take you far in life. Uh, maybe not that room. Uh, is this seriously their curriculum? And then they send them off to us. Huh. Cool. How about that red door? That might be a good place to leave some interns. Whoa. What is this place? It's some kind of... intern hacking plant. I knew these schools were churning through students, but I had no idea it was this bad. Huh. There's a lot of people in here. Who are you all? Hey, dweebs! What are you doing locked up? Ben? Holy crap! Frank! Hey, Viper, I used to work with that guy. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. Frank, what the hell, man? How you been? What's with the chains, man? The what? Oh, right, the chains. Yeah, I decided to go into academia. This is pretty standard. Do you want me to, uh, you know, get you down? Nah, it's cool. We get health and dental. They let us walk around an hour a day, too. It's cool. <laughs> What? Really? Totally, man. Good benefits, free parking, zero chance of having to fix show-stopping bugs at four in the morning. This is the life. Except there's no snack time. Otherwise, yeah, solid gig. So you're a teacher? Yeah, except we're not allowed to influence the lessons. But we help their accreditation rating, so they keep us here. So you're a teacher who doesn't teach. I know, it's great. Hey, Ben. You should join us. He will be joining you. You! Provost West! This is a faculty-only room. You're not faculty, are you? Come over here, so I can kick the snot out of you. That's against campus regulations. I don't think you really are game developers. We sure are. We work for Shovelwork Studios. Now out of my way. I think you both need to cool off in here while I consider what to do with you. No! Ah, uh, probably shouldn't have told them where we work, dude. You know when they call some college a degree factory? I never thought they were being literal. Hey, come look at this. It looks like a test print for an ad or something. Compress four years of study into four days and prepare for your new career as a game designer. Huh. Wow, that sounds great. Where do I sign up? You are a game designer. What's this? Phase two proposal confidential memo. Where's the rest of it, though? Hey, help me find the other pieces for this. Sure. This is definitely more important than our personal safety. We're on it, Midge. Oh, 
Oh, wow, a real-life wooden crate. You don't find these out in the wild too much anymore. Gotcha. I wonder what's behind this big door. Why do places like this always have barrels hanging around? What do they even use them for? Phase two proposal. Proposal for what? Can't hide from me, you inanimate object. This door only opens when it's convenient for the plot. Okay, let's do this together, Pylon. You look for the missing pieces of paper. I'll delegate. There we go. Hello, wall of students. You all look pretty cozy there. Here's one. Hello, New England. I'm Jade, and you're listening to the Dice Bag, your source for game. Wow. I wonder what these machines are building. This yellow bar keeps me from going outside of this tightly confined but aesthetically pleasing predefined region. Huh, they're building a desk. Out of students? going on here looks really nefarious, but practical. Can't hide from me, you inanimate object. They just keep coming. Oh my god. They're planning on renting the interns out. As cubicles. I can't just stand by and watch them turn all these students into cubicles. We've got to do something. Hey! Let us out of here! It's no use. No one can hear you all the way down here. Hey, there's the intern. Intern! Get your ass over here! Man, be nice. Hey, intern, we need your help. We need you to get the keys. Steam keys? Not steam keys, you dolt. The keys to the door. We need you to go over and get the keys and bring them back to us. I'm not sure I know where the keys are. They're right there, hanging from that hook. You can see them from here. That's so far away. Is there a video tutorial about this somewhere? Just reach out and grab them. With a shovel? What the f- With your hands! Do you even see a shovel? Are we networking right now? Just get the damn keys already! Okay, I can do this.
Maybe they'd be better off not being game developers, Midge. Did you think of that? Hey, help me find a way to shut this down. Cubicle walls don't have to deal with crunch or internet hate or agile development. And they have way more job security. Walls are very stable. They had to know they couldn't actually employ them all. The industry would be drowning in interns. Don't be ridiculous. You'd suffocate, not drown. They're totally misrepresenting their career placement stats. That's a secret you will never live to tell. You again. We know all about your scam of a school. I know. I've been standing here for ten minutes. You've seen too much. We can't let you get away with this. We're going to stop you. We are? And I'm going to stop you from stopping me. Yeah, and, and we're going to stop you from stopping them from stopping you. Yeah. You think you can thwart me? Well, I looked up your little company. Your boss was one of the first to sign up. What? No way. Ha! <laughs> Jeb would never sign that. Sign to the left, sign it to the right. He's gonna sign this shit. Okay, maybe he would sign that. But that doesn't change anything. Yeah, signature or not, we can't let you get away with this. Recruitus Maximus, set your missiles to kill. Viper, quick, how do you stop a half-ton ex-military-grade robot? He's not ex-military! I don't know, make the intern do it? Don't even joke about that! <laughs> Hold it, everyone stop! Violence won't solve anything! Hey, you can't snot kick a robot! <laughs> oh, you think you're so tough because you took out my definitely not ex-military robot? Well, let's see how you do against all of my definitely not ex-military robots. Recruiters, attack! Prepare to meet your doom! Time to die! Time to die! Take this! You better run! You better run! Time to die! Time to die! Time to die! Time to die! Take this! Time to die! Take this! Take this! You better run. You better run. You 
better run. You better run. Robots than you have interns. Actually, no, that's not true. You better run. You better run. Time to die. Time to die. Time to die! 
is time to die! Have an intern sandwich! Army. Without them, I won't be able to convince young and impressionable kids to sign up for our accelerated development program! Yeah, it was nothing, okay? Face it, you slimy administrator. This program is done. You can't stop me. My teacher-to-student ratio is superb! All my professors have terminal degrees in their fields of study. The number of times I've had sex with graduates is within acceptable limits! You can do nothing! Not if we have anything to say about it, Provost! Hey, Frank! You had a change of heart. Who let you out? Exercise hour is not until 3 p.m. Yeah, about that. We need to talk. Now is not the time for employment negotiations. Oh, but it is. Without us, that accreditation rating you're so proud of, that's toast. Two exercise hours. And snack time. And more, Provost. Things... Things are gonna change around here. Thanks for helping us offload all these interns. It's a relief to know they're in good hands. You sure you don't want to just take some back? Interns are good to have around the office. I'll take some, sure. What? Really, Viper? You hate interns. I don't know. I could make a desk out of them or something. Oh, we're not making desks out of them. Just one, then. A lot of snot kicking happened here today, okay? I need a memento. Oh, thanks. You won't regret it. Man, thanks for diffusing things, Frank. Not sure how we were gonna get out of there. It's always good to help an old friend, Ben. Don't be a stranger. Welcome back, intern. Looks like you're here for good this time. Are you sure you're okay in that crate? Yeah, I feel safe here. Well, all right. Just bounce around or something if you need anything, I guess. Hey, Charm Lady Francine! Yes? Are we networking? Nope. Will I be able to work on the game now? Nope. 